A Pinckneyville couple found themselves fighting for their lives after contracting COVID-19 in early September. As News 3's Madeline Parker reports, they want others to learn from their experience. When we woke up and they told me where I was and what had happened, I was just in total shock and I think I'm still in shock. Karen and Roger Heap found themselves testing positive for COVID-19 in early September. At first, symptoms were mild. Started feeling really weak, not having any energy. All we did was sit and not do much of anything. Couldn't eat anything. It didn't taste good. You know, just fatigued mainly. The Heaps then took a turn for the worse and decided they needed to go to the hospital and receive medical attention. I told my daughter, I said, you need to come get us and take us to the emergency room. And we were bad then. My oxygen, my oxygen was down to 63. Yeah, so it was time to go. Days after arriving at Pickneyville Community Hospital, both Karen and Roger had to be intubated. Scary, very scary. It, it was, it was very scary. And to think that our kids could have lost both of us at the same time and um, not having a chance to tell anybody bye or... Both Roger and Karen were on the vent for only a few days, but recovery has been challenging. Tough, you know, you lose all your muscle strength and everything. You just got to build yourself back up. It takes a while. Roger says the experience changed his outlook on how he views COVID-19. I just, I was bullheaded, didn't, didn't really believe it until I was trying to get all the facts I could on it. Every time I'd find something I thought was credible and I'd find another one that counteracted it and I just didn't know what to do. It's horrible and um, it's like we should have went ahead and got those shots. Now the heaps encourage everyone to get their vaccine to prevent more people from going through their experience. I think that everybody should go ahead and get the COVID shot and all the myths that they say about, you know, the things that it does to you, you just got to live with it and take the chance because this was horrible. I never want to go through that like that again. No. In Pickneyville, Madeline Parker, News 3. For more information on COVID-19 vaccinations, you can visit our website, WSILTV.com.